live and we die by time and we must not commit the sin of turning our backs on time. Man, chill. What's the matter? I just heard Mary shout, Run, Forrest, run. So I ran all the way here. <laughs> now what's wrong with you? Nothing, yaar. I just remembered. Chuck torching the fire for the first time. Chuck? Yeah, Miss Know It All. Tom Hanks in Castaway as Chuck Nolan. An instant classic. Maggie hai kya? Instant noodles ki tarah. By the way, what are you guys talking about? Nothing. Just cast away. How rude. Oh, no, no, no. The movie Cast Away, directed by Robert Zimmick's a 2000 release. The movie opens subtly with Chuck Nolan, a FedEx executive, driving in. The sombre music and charisma. Tom Hanks is gripping till the last scene. Chuck's character is of a perfect, happily employed man. His characterization is distinct. There is no conflict in the plot. He has the love of his life and a satisfactory lifestyle. What are you doing? Chuck is in a flight. Thunder and rains galore. There is a technical issue and kaboom. Chuck is now in an inevitable island. All alone. Lost. Well, he's not alone. Huh? Duh. He has with him his FedEx packages to deliver which he got onto the flight in the first place. Chuck personifies determination, sourcefulness, presence of mind, grit and hope in assorted ways. Though when all seems to be falling apart and his eyes reflect a transition from hope to hopeless, the viewers feel like a part to them too. Crumbles. That is so sad. He's all alone without anything to fend for himself. Well, not exactly. He had the most wonderful partner, with his innocent face, beaming smile, and his humility when he'd blush, beetroot red. The best friend anybody could ever ask for. The best friend. Yeah, you got it. That's Wilson, of volleyball, with a handprint and a smiling face. But anyways. Well, time hasn't stopped and four years pass. Chuck had found a new way of life. He uses the blade of the ice skating shoe from one of the FedEx packages as a knife to cut coconuts and makes shoes with the help of his ragged clothes. He uses the cardboard boxes and the inflatable raft as a makeshift home. He struggles to torch a fire, but gets through. Also, successfully. Chuck soon manages to build a raft. In company of Wilson, prepares to leave one and go back to another. Wilson and Chuck soon leave. And they live happily ever after? Well, life's probably not always happily ever after. But you have to keep breathing because tomorrow the sun will rise and who knows what the tide could bring. No, we are not done here. Chuck is given back his old job and reunited with his friends. Parties are being held in his honor. Chuck is even reunited with his fiancée who had now been married and even had kids. It turns out that his then fiancée Kelly had been looking for him even to this day. And when he sees all her research and talks to more people, he realizes, despite being back, he is now much different from who he was when he had not even reached the island. Chuck realizes that despite being home, he's still a castaway. Having lost so much time, he's required to create a new life for himself. You know what I feel. It teaches us a lot about the essence of time and how we must value it. We must always keep breathing and never give up, for there is always something ahead. My favorite learning from the film is to always find your Wilson. 
I mean, not just an emotional support volleyball. But remember to always share your feelings with whomever you feel comfortable with. It maintains the companionship we require as human beings. I feel there is always a different emotion brought out of you each time you watch this movie. You start to project your own problems onto Chuck and watch him solve it, which will guarantee to keep you motivated. All in all, I think this movie is a classic. One to go down in the books of history. Yes, I agree. If I had the power, I would recommend everyone to watch this movie. You know, at least once. <laughs>